Hi, I'm Ruby Lefty, and you're watching Hummingbird's Kitchen. Today, we'll be making. Hi, welcome back to Hummingbird's Kitchen. Today, we're gonna make cheesy tofu roll up. Okay, ingredients. Um, 50, this is 100. 60 grams, oh, 180 grams, I, don't, I forgot, about um, 5 to 6 ounces of thinly sliced pork, and this is, one chunk is about 5 ounces, so 300 grams of atsurage, this is atsurage, um, this is actually fried um, farm tofu, you can use atsurage or you can use farm tofu, extra farm tofu, depends on how, what kind of texture you like. And this is melting cheese, see? The quantity is like this. Uh, we're going to use, I think, uh, three to four slices. And this is chopped and sliced uh, black olives. I use eight olives and then chopped up. A uh, little bit of pepper, uh, pepper and a little bit of salt. It's both about half of the teaspoon. Uh, again, half of the teaspoon of uh, this what's this? This is thyme, and this is rosemary, and as much of garlic chips and garlic powder you want. And these are uh, this is potato starch. You can use corn starch and also use your flour. Um, doesn't matter which one you use. It's about uh, three tablespoons, I think. First, we're gonna slice tofu. Um, I just counted the sliced pork. And we have nine counts, so I'm just going to slice, that would be enough, actually it doesn't really matter. Uh, so nine, eighteen, well nine would be fine. So I made, like one piece is about this size, and so six, so I'm going to make another six. So next things to do is, we're going to uh, either slice or just rip this cheese because we like to roll up in the pork. I would just cut it. Um, you know, one seed is going to be divided by three and then um, that means we're going to need another two seeds because we have nine pounds of pork. Good match. So what we're going to do now is very easy. Take one slice of pork like this and put the tofu and put the cheese and put some olives. And well, I mean I should have done that beforehand, but you know now mix salt, pepper and herbs like this and then sprinkle a little bit and roll up. So, um, you know, this is garlic powder and this is garlic chips. You can um, actually fry with it. Um, you're gonna, um, when we're gonna sift the uh, starch on the meat, we can do it with garlic powder. Or, you know, we really do love garlic, so we're just gonna put some in like this. So it's all depends on how much garlic lava you want. So there were nine slices of pork, but actually I ripped one, so now there's eight. That's okay. And, you know, if you're going to um, prepare a half tablespoon of all the herbs and uh, salt, I think they would be still enough. We're just going to sprinkle all on the top. And also garlic powder. A lot of garlic. And we're gonna um, cover the meat with potato starch. And again, it doesn't have to be potato starch, it can be cornstarch or usual flour. So we did this side, and then we're just gonna turn. Doesn't have to be really even or anything, you know, all we want to do is 
we want to cover it so that all the juice of the meat is going to be concealed inside. Okay, this is good. So we're going to um, pan fry the meat, okay? So we're going to heat up the frying pan. Just wait. Put a cooking oil. It doesn't have to be cooking oil. Um, well, I, actually the best one is, I think, olive oil. And I sometimes use butter. Um, I don't use sesame oil because it has much too strong flavor to kill other flavors. Um, because we put lots of herbs, we don't want to kill the flavor of those. So I would say just simple olive oil or um, just cooking oil. Could be grape oil. Oh, I had a grape oil, but that's okay. I have not use a cooking oil. Okay. Make sure to keep the fire medium and this is the end of the meat I rolled and we're going to put this side down when we put the meat down otherwise it's going to start ripping up. Okay? Okay, the cure to turn um, the meat is when you look at the edge of the meat at the bottom, it's the, uh, these parts are going to start getting really brown, golden brown. That's the time to start rolling and see. So we want to we wanna cook all dimensions. So I'm not going to turn it upside down. I'm just going to do another dimension. See where I'm going? Nice noise and nice smell. I'm sorry you can't smell it, but it just smells wonderful. Um, I usually put rosemary because I use pork. But if you, you can use a very thin chicken slice. And in that case, I think bell, um, basil will be the best combination. Um, I sometimes apply pesto sauce or all these top nuts. Um, sometimes even the peanut butter with soy sauce will do. It's just all, just depends on what you want, and use your imagination and try it out. Isn't this beautiful? I can see Miss Matt Sock's nostrils wide open, just sniffing in all the aroma. You see the, the melting teeth that getting fried like this, and if you feel great, then I would have just gathered it up like this and put it, just stick it to the meat, because this is going to be like cheese pizza, cheese crisp, and it tastes really good, so I don't want to just uh, let the pan keeping it, and then we're going to end up washing it up, we want to eat it. Okay, isn't this beautiful? The great thing about using um, thin sliced pork or thin sliced meat is you don't have to cook a long time. You're just going to fry all four places and then by that time uh, it's going to melt and then everything's going to be heated up just fine. So it's a quick menu and very easy but very very yummy. And I used the pork today but if you're vegetarian and you don't want to use any meat um, you can use rice paper or um, there is a soy paper I saw at the Whole Foods. I don't know if I, other markets have the soy paper. Or uh, you can use actually um, tortilla and then wrap it. And it's going to be like a small size burrito. And I mean, I know you don't pan fry burrito, but <laughs> you, can, you, you can pan fry this one. And then you're going to have the same result. So this is very easy, quick, but yummy menu. Please try and let me know how it works. I hope you enjoyed today's Hummingbird's Kitchen. Um, you know, I use tofu and cheese, but if you get the bigger slice of pork, actually you can add more vegetables in it and roll it up. It's going to be much more stuffing and healthier. Mm -hmm.